thought maybe I would come up with something to say, but I've got nothing. So instead, I thought I would quote something that gave me comfort a long time ago. Is God real? The more proper question would be, is reality divine? Existence itself is a mystery which yearns to be uncovered. What is goodness but a comparison to the good? What is existence but a participation in being? For where the diversity of the universe inspires awe and wonder, it exists only in contrast to a simplicity so pure that it may only be understood as primordial and even divine. Our essence is what was imagined by its mind, but what we consider imagining and what we consider mind are in fact so far beyond our understanding that even these metaphors are like the tiny white caps on a massive searching sea. There's more, but those are the parts that speak to me the most. I, um, thank you. That was really thoughtful, Mateo. Thank you. Does anyone else want to say anything? Thank you. If anyone else wants to say something. I don't often speak about what I believe. It seems so redundant with how I live. But death... It's one of those occasions where it's hard not to look inward. Our friend is gone. There's no afterlife or second meetings. No God in heaven that is curating a perfect ending for him. So it's up to us. We are what lives on. The pain of loss inspires us to greater action than that is the good that comes from Humanity is what truly creates our world. We are the ones that judge things to be good or evil, joyful or mournful. Let us take responsibility for it. Let us remember what we have lost. Walter, are you part of the House of Enlightenment? I never knew that. Yes, well, I like to keep some things private. not like thinking about this but when we die everything about us breaks down decomposes gets eaten up by insects and microbes or due to the lack of a biosphere we are simply carried away by space and time until we sizzle in a distant sun's corona or get pulled in some gravitational field and coalesce with other debris not comforting huh but I disagree do you know what I find uncomfortable? The thought that after I die, the universe is just going to stand still forever. Could you imagine? The fact is that the universe goes on, that life goes on, that things do not just sit still. That right there is the comfort that I need. Yeah, we die. 
And some people go way before they should. But the universe doesn't care. Not because it's evil, but because it's infinite. Ever expanding. And who wouldn't want to be a part of infinity? Even if it's just for a short while. Listen, we don't worry about ourselves before we were born, do we? Of course not. We emerge from the universe as we return to it. And for one beautiful moment, we are here together. Um, yes, that certainly was an interesting perspective, Baron. Everyone is in mourning. I understand, but I cannot quite share in their emotion. I have seen death. I have lost people I considered close. But this is... It is not the same. I cannot explain why. I am not sure I am making sense. Thank you. If you are free soon, could we talk? I hope this is all okay. Between fixing things up and sending out messengers and getting all the paperwork done, it's not much. Good. I... Good. Sorry, if I talk any longer, I'm gonna start crying. Um, could you excuse me? chat for a bit normally i hate talking to people at funerals but well you don't believe in the afterlife do you i mean this might be the worst time to bring it up but yes won't we all well i've taken up enough of your time i don't believe we met Ajay Mamasa, former chair of Constellation. I wish the circumstances of my visit were better. Unfortunately, this isn't the first Constellation funeral I've been to. After 35 years, you say goodbye to a lot of friends. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I feel numb just thinking about it. Sarah meant the world to me. She was the future. I knew it as soon as I met her. Oh, yes. I was Sebastian Bench's protege. If that gives you any idea of how long I was part of our little club. Exactly the same as when you met her, I bet. Determined. Fearless. With just a small hint of delight on her face when she knew she was winning, eh? My only problem as a mentor was trying to convince her to be more tactful. <laughs> Those old military instincts would always get her in trouble. Yes, she could make me so angry or so happy. We used to joke that we were married. <laughs> I bet relationships in Constellation are still messy, aren't they? I'm more of a family than an organization. All the former lines bleed together. It makes the losses sting harder. But I hope it means the time you had together was all the more important. That's how I like to think of it anyway. Knew him, argued with him, tried to carry on his memory when he vanished. Sebastian will be back tomorrow, we always used to say. <laughs> it reminded us that he was still here 
in the bones of this old building. You know, what you're feeling right now is a chemical reaction whose evolutionary goal is promoting social cohesion. Never seems to work for me. No matter how many times I do this, I feel less attached, not more. Well, look at us. Two lone wolves howling at the moon on the same night. You know, if there's one piece of advice I can actually give you, it's that lost loved ones have a way of coming back to you. One day you'll be sweeping out some old shelf or digging through a desk and there it'll be. Some old paperweight of theirs. Or a piece of jewelry they gave you. Half jokingly. Theoretically, of course. You're welcome. It almost feels wrong hey, to be Dad. grieving. Selfish. You? No amount of tears will bring the dead back. It's just easier to feel guilty, if you'll excuse me. Hi. So many people here. So many people saying goodbye. Is this supposed to make everything okay? Make everyone feel better? It's just, it doesn't change anything, does it? Every day is going to be worse now. Don't you get that? I want to be alone for a while, okay? Is it quieter in the lodge, or is it just me? Death is a bastard. Comes for us all. You know, there's an old Aquila story about two pioneers who got lost trying to find a new frontier to settle. One of them takes ill. Clear he's not going to make it, he turns to his partner and says, Don't bury me. Let the ground take what it's due. I'd rather be a ghost chasing after you than walk through the pearly gates knowing an eternity of loneliness until you get there. Sad story, huh? You look after yourself. You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. Drink? Pour one out to the blackest sea? Two old friends. May their ghosts go past the edges of space, to the great beyond. Drink? Two old friends. I. I am told these types of gatherings are a sad occasion. That assumption appears to be correct. I appreciate you verifying my analysis, although I am certain 
My thanks will do little to improve your current psychological trauma. If you would like though, I can add some consoling language to my programming. It will take some time to adapt, but it will be okay. How was that? I will note that feedback for later. <laughs>